today we are continuing with our discussion on relational data model in relational data model for uniquely identifying a particular couple for example there may be thousands of records or thousands of couples in your relationship or table and for uniquely identifying a particular key here for example this roll number using this roll number that means you for each tuple this roll number is different that means no two employees can have the same roll number so in that case this roll number uniquely identifies a record now other number can also be used for uh, as a primary key why other no two type persons no two records can have the same other number so other number and roll number are, can be used as the distinguishing key that is called the primary key so before having a detailed discussion of primary key then we have to discuss some uh, terminology that means here what is a super key so here super key means here this is a relationship r and the, here in this case this r is having roll number f name last name date of birth passport number other number department that means seven different attributes are there for this employee relationship employee relationship is having seven attributes and a super key is defined as a subset of this for example i can have a super key like say uh, roll number roll number and last name i can have a super key why this is super key number 1 roll number and last name collectively determines it is okay why a roll number and last name these two these two together forms a primary key but roll number roll number itself can have can uh, determine uniquely determine a, specific, a particular couple but for now roll number and their name i am saying that a roll number and their name together determines uniquely determines a tuple in the relationship okay that's okay no problem what about a roll number and first name it's also okay what about other number and department again other number and department these two forms a super key no problem what about other number that is also a super key that means super key means a subset of this relationship r that means this r is having how many attributes seven attributes and a subset whether it is r such or any subset of that forms a super key if it uniquely identifies a particular tuple here roll number and middle name roll number and last name roll number and first name aadhar number and department aadhar number and roll number also uniquely determines primary key uniquely determines a tuple in this relationship so these are all super keys so super key means a subset of the set of attributes which uniquely determines a tuple in this relationship okay so that is a super key and now we are going to have super key is a candidate key if k is minimal k is minimal in the sense here see roll number and l name determines uniquely determines it's a super key but if you are excluding this l name this roll number itself roll number as such it is it forms a key so this is not a minimal key this is not minimal why roll number and l name determines uniquely determine it is forms a super key but roll number roll number itself is a super key roll number itself is a super key so we, we, we are we are not going after this super key roll number l name roll number f name is also a super key but we are not interested in that why roll number itself forms a super key this minimal 
this minimal that means a uh, super k which is having having minimum number of attributes is called a candidate key that means here a roll number last name that is not a candidate key why a roll number is a super key but in that case we are uh, there is no need to go for roll number and last name roll number and first name that is a super key but we are not going after that because roll number itself is a super key so roll number is minimal and other number also is minimal well, that means here in this case we have only two candidate keys this is candidate candidate one and this is candidate two either of these can be used as a primary key that means a super key is super key means it is a set of attributes it is a subset of this are which uniquely determines a tuple in a relationship but if that super key is minimal if that super key is minimal then we call it as a candidate key so here we have identified two candidate keys a roll number and other number why first name two person can have the same first name uh, now what about last name two persons can have the first name, uh, last name same so what about first name and last name together first name and last name together also uh, two persons can have the same name first name and last name what about that number that number is also not uniquely identifies a person but passport number you can passport number is a candidate key but here we are not allowing that because here in, in the as per our assumption this is null over a person may not may, may, may not be having passport number if passport number of every person is available that can also be used as a primary key but or candidate key here as it is nullable we are excluding that possibility what about other number other number is also a uniquely identifying key that means it is a super key and department is not a key so here in this case we have identified a number of super keys and among that the minimal two that means other number and roll number uh, we have identified as candidate keys and among these candidate keys either of these can act as a primary you can choose either of these there is no discrimination you can choose either of this uh, other number or roll number as a primary key okay then what is a simple key then one of the candidate keys chosen as the primary key and what is a simple key simple key means if you have a single attribute in that uh, relationship or if you, if that key is having only a simple attribute a single attribute then it is called a simple key similar here these two are uh, simple keys composite attribute means composite key means if in a key you have more than one uh, more than one attribute forms the forms for example suppose that uh, your mobile number is your primary key mobile number is your primary key uh, suppose that in every country in every country they are allowing the same same mobile numbers suppose that same mobile number is there in india and then uh, the country code also should be attached that means country code and your mobile number together forms a primary key okay that means you have a country code and your mobile number mobile number that means uh, all over the world there, uh, you are going to have a database containing uh, persons from different locations different continents like that so suppose that you are going to treat their mobile number as a primary key mobile number excluding the country code mobile number as such they cannot form a primary key because uh, in different countries you can have the same mobile number and if you are attach attaching the country code also then that forms a primary key okay in that case your country code and your mobile number together determines so together forms a primary key and in that case 
we call it as a composite key. That means a composite key is a key which is having more than one attributes. Now we are going to discuss what is foreign key. Foreign key. Foreign key results. Here see, here if you have a student table, here roll number, first name, last name, date of birth, passport number, other number department. In this case, we can have either roll number or other number as a primary key and we have chosen this roll number as the primary key. That's why I have underlined this. And there is another uh, relationship which is courses. That is course number, course name, credits. This is lecture tour or practical department. That means this is the department which is taking, which is uh, connecting this course. And this is the LTP split and how many credits are there, this is the name of the course and etc. These details are given. Here you have a course number and course number is the unique identifier for determining a specific tuple in that relationship. That is why we have chosen this course number as the primary key or candidate key for this. Any other candidate key doesn't exist, so this is the primary key. Now, Suppose that a student is enrolling, he is going to enroll as a student in a course. Then the roll number of the student and the course number of the course, these together forms the forms the uh, primary key or these together forms the primary key. Because if a student is enrolled in a specific course, enrolled into a specific course, then that roll number and course number Together determines the instructor. That means uh, a student is taking a course and the student uh, roll number and the course number together determines the instructor ID. That means the instructor is going to take that. But a roll number alone cannot determine. That means a, a student can enroll to enroll to more than one course. And each course is having a number of students enrolled. That means uh, either this or this cannot uniquely identify a particular couple. That's why uh, we are going for roll number and post number together as a composite key. This is an example of a composite key. Now, the roll number and post number together determines the inspector ID, and then inspector ID is a primary key for inspector details are there in this inspector table, and so only once you have this inspector ID the name and la first name and last name of that uh, person can be retrieved. See, here this instructor ID is a primary key for another table and this is not a primary key for this enrollment table. In this enrollment table, roll number and post number together determines the primary key, together forms the primary key and instructor ID is not a primary key but instructor ID is a primary key for some other relationship that means in this table this is a primary key such a key is here we call this as a foreign key foreign foreign key why that attribute is not a primary key for our relationship but it is a it is a primary key for some other table or some other relationship that kind of attributes are called foreign keys Understood? here here in this case see this roll number and course number roll number is not a primary key here course number also is not a primary key here but roll number is a primary key for student table and post number is a primary key for this table. So here, a roll number, post number, and instructor ID. These three are foreign keys. Three separate foreign keys. A roll number and post number together forms the primary key here. A roll number is not a primary key. Post number is not a primary key or candidate key. Instructor ID also is not a candidate key or primary key. But Roll number is a primary key for some other relationship. Course number is a primary key for some other relationship. And inspector ID is a 
primary way for some other legislature. So these three are separately, these three are foreign keys. What do you mean by a foreign key? A an attribute which is not a primary key or candidate key for the referencing relation and it is for it is acting as a primary key or candidate key for some other relationship. And in this case, here this enrollment this is called a referencing relation. Referencing a referencing relation and this instructor ID, this courses, structure and instructor, these three are called reference relation. Reference relation. Referencing relation is enrollment. And referencing relations are student, courses, and inspector okay that's all about foreign key so at this pointing or uh, in the discussion of these keys we discussed what is a super key then what is candidate key what is primary key single key uh, composite key and foreign key foreign key okay these are the important uh, types of keys and among this, we have to focus on foreign keys and primary keys. Primary key value cannot be null for a table and foreign key attribute should also be non-null. So those integrity constraints we will discuss later. Okay, so that's all about keys.